Hello my dear friends. I hope you and family are doing well. Let me welcome you to the exciting world of birds. Will you remember subscribing, please? The greater racket-tailed drongo is a medium-sized Asian bird, which is distinctive in having elongated outer tail feathers with webbing restricted to the tips. They are conspicuous in the forest habitats, often perching in the open, and by attracting attention with a wide range of loud calls that include perfect imitations of many other birds. These drongos will sometimes steal insect prey caught, or disturbed by other foragers in the flock and another idea, is that vocal mimicry helps them in diverting the attention of smaller birds to aid their piracy. They are diurnal, but are active well before dawn and late at dusk. Owing to their widespread distribution and distinctive regional variation, they have become iconic examples of speciation by isolation and genetic drift. The distribution range of this species extends from the Western Himalayas to the Eastern Himalayas and Mishmi Hills. They are found in the hills of Peninsular India and the Western Ghats. Continuing into the west to the islands of Borneo and Java in the east through the mainland and islands. Like other drongos, these feed mainly on insects, but also eat fruit and visit flowering trees for nectar. Having short legs, they sit upright and are often perched on high and exposed branches. They are aggressive and will sometimes mob larger birds especially when nesting. They are often active at dusk. Their calls are extremely varied and include monotonously repeated whistles, metallic and nasal sounds, as well as more complex notes and imitations of other birds. They have an ability to accurately mimic alarm calls of other birds that are learnt through interactions in mixed species flocks. The greater racket-tailed drongo is a resident breeder throughout its range. The breeding season in India is April to August. Their courtship display may involve hops and turns on branches, with play behavior involving dropping an object and picking it in mid-air. Their cup nest is built in the fork of a tree, often a smooth bold tree with an isolated canopy, the nesting pair may even remove bits of bark on the trunk to make it smooth. The usual clutch is three to four eggs. The eggs are creamy white with blotches of reddish brown, which are more dense at the broad end. That was a cool journey. Thank you for your interest in wildlife. See you pretty soon. Till then, take care and be safe. Ciao.